Hello again YouTube. Today I'm going to be talking about my goals for comic book collecting in 2016. Um, let me go over like my some of my favorite issues from that I picked up over 2000 this past 2015. Um, so to start off, I'll just let me do the 2015 stuff first. Uh, it was a good year for my uh, main collections: my Batman, my uh, my Daredevil. Uh, haven't really. Completed a couple of series like All Star Superman. I finally got that done. I finally um, I completed a, a couple other little runs and stuff like that. I've been basically when I buy like mini series, I'm trying to buy them all together because <laughs> it gets tiring after a while. Just you know, having issue one, three, and four like I with the Black Beetle, I'm still missing. I think issue two, I think it is. So and it's you know you can only read one issue and then. Yeah, I'm not gonna read the rest of the series and come back to two. So, <laughs> so um, I'm pretty much that's one of my goals. I'll talk about that a little bit later. But uh, let's see here. So I'll share my top three favorite books that I remember buying. Um, really stood out. I mean, and, uh, first up is a uh, Crystal, the Crystal Warrior. It's issue eight, and this book just uh, is one of my favorites because um this is uh you can see like on the bottom here it's uh bands and skull logo so i'm a huge fan of that band and the artist so i was so happy to get this uh you know like i picked it up for a dollar so i got it i'm not sure <clears throat> most people consider it a key issue or anything like that but uh for me it's Probably one of my favorite books now in my collection just because I'm a huge fan. I've been a huge fan of Misfits and stuff like that. Uh, next up is Batman 189. First appearance of the, the Silver Age uh, Scarecrow. Uh, finally got this book in my collection. Um, it's one of the bigger books that I needed. So it was just nice to get this one out of the way for the price I got it for. And lastly, I think I, I bought this earlier in the year when I wasn't making too many videos at the time for different reasons and stuff like that, but I got this for a real good price. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm just so happy to have it in my collection. I mean, it's not in the greatest condition, but it's, uh, it's, not, it's an awesome book to have. It, it, this past year, he's probably, I've been uh, collecting his uh, series lately. Uh, it came out, started this new uh series this year i believe it was beginning this year maybe so uh, really getting i really liking this character and stuff like that so i decided to pick up his first appearance and it's uh new teen titans issue number two first appearance of uh deathstroke of course terminator so those are my three favorite books that i'm not i shouldn't say favorite i mean but they were the three that really stood out to me this past year. Uh, my favorite ongoing series of 2015 is The Walking Dead, of course. I mean, it's just been... I'm, now I'm, I think I was celebrating my 50th issue uh, floppy-wise in a row. So it's just been uh, one of the books I like as soon as I come home from getting uh, picking it up at the shop and stuff like that. I, uh, it's one of the first books I read. I mean, I just can't wait. So, and then with, with issue 150 uh, coming up, so it should be. Uh, I'm just excited to see what's going to happen in issue 150. It's just, it's just been for me. It's one of my favorite. It's just my favorite series. With um, with I think Deathstroke uh, being a good solid number two. Um, Batman, I'm still buying. Uh, I'm just not really feeling this. Uh, Jim Gordon stuff. I mean, it's all right, but yeah, you know, it's just tough for me. I mean, I'm just getting pretty much done with the uh, that storyline. I can't wait. I think it's gonna be over at issue fifty. So let's move on to something else. <laughs> um, let's see here. Next, my goals for this year is, of course, I want to get um, finish the rest of uh, Batman. My issue 300 to 399, and I only got 17 more issues left to go, so I want to uh, get that complete. I mean, I got all the, the 
the keys and whatever out of that that um that run, part of the run. So we're just I'm just gonna knock down the other books that I need. I need seventy. I think it's seventy four more issues from. No, that's wrong. Seventy four issues from one to hundred to two hundred, but from two hundred to two ninety nine. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I need uh fifty four more issues. I think it is so. I'd like to be down to by this time next year. I'd like to be down to uh, pretty close to twenty issues left. Like I am now with three hundred. So, I mean, I still need a couple of big keys out of those that run. So I'd like to knock at least one of those off, and I'm hoping to get two thirty two out of the way. Uh, two fifty one. Uh, I've been on eBay. I've lost multiple times on that book. Just going insane right now. So I'm gonna try to. Like I said, I'm going for 232. I, it's it's coming down little by little. It's not coming down like it's dropping like, you know, like it's a lead balloon or anything like that. But it's just uh, it's coming down a little bit by a little bit, and I'm starting to see more of them pop up too. So I think I can get that book this year. I, I just gotta just concentrate on getting the money for it. So um, in my issue 100 to 200 um. I should say 199, 100 to 199. I'd like to get, uh, like I said, I got 77 of those books left, and I'd like to uh, get it down to, you know, 60. So I think that's a reasonable goal. Uh, 60 issues left. So hopefully by the time when I'm doing the 2016, uh, 2017 uh, video, that I'm down to basically 80 books <laughs> that I need for that run. Uh, Daredevil. I I got two of the issues that I needed, um, one through ten, got eight and nine, so I'd like to get at least four more, so any of the four that I need, one through seven, I'd like to get four of those out of the way. Uh, I'd like to finish up all the teens in that Daredevil run, and I think I'll pretty much be done with the whole Silver Age after that. I know I got one or two after that that I'm missing, and it starts in the 15 centers, and I need a lot of those, and I need to up like the high nine, like the uh, 80s and 90s, I need a lot of those issues. But after that, 100, I'm done to just picking off a little bit by a little bit. And from issue 200 to 300, I'm think I'm one issue away from being complete. So, a uh, new series that I'm going to be trying to get. Uh, I'm going to start slowly but surely picking up Amazing Spider-Man. My daughter was wanting to uh, start, and, you know, collecting with me, so. I figured that's a title that we both could like slowly but surely. I got about about seventy issues back over here from when I was a kid and stuff like that, and I've been trying to complete the McFarlane run. So hopefully I can get the McFarlane run done. So after that, uh, that's pretty much what my long you know, <laughs> years down the line that I'm trying to complete. Uh, right now, there's after I finished All Star Superman, I really don't need anything really too much now. My goal is. For, uh, not to, not to buy too many more new series. I think I'm just burnt out on some of this stuff. Uh, I buy a couple issues here, and it's just like, I get into three issues, and I'm just not interested anymore, and it's just happening more and more, I'm noticing. When I, then I go back, and I buy, like, you know, I think I picked up Sabretooth, that was like two or three videos ago, and I, uh, I enjoyed the hell out of it, and I paid like two bucks for it for all four issues, you know. So I'm going back a little bit, you know, finding stuff that are cheaper, you know. So I'm gonna try to get my pull list down to, uh, you know, five or six books. I'm still gonna keep Batman, Walking Dead, of course, Deathstroke. Um, then again, you know, it's, who knows how long that's gonna last? I'm not sure how many they're selling or any of that. It's usually, anytime I get on any other, th any other, but except for the big two. <laughs> They end up disappearing on me, so with cancellations. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try not to do too many uh, impulse buys. I guess would be uh, the word for new titles and stuff like that. I just got so many that you know I start like one, two, three issues. I'm into it. I'm like you know, like I'm trying to think what when recently I just bought and I just didn't really. Yeah, I can't remember. I mean, I got a bo boxes full of them, so I'll. And that's the other thing I want to get on to. <laughs> I probably got about three, no, going on four short boxes of stuff I just want to get rid of. I'm not a reseller. 
I'm not a flipper, <laughs> but I'm a guy that just needs to get rid of some books, you know, and, you know, we'll see what I can do. I got, like, you know, I got Revival I want to get rid of. I got, um, it's like Simon Dark and stuff like that. They're complete. Uh, I shouldn't say complete, but, like, Simon Dark's complete. Revival, it's like, I got issues 1 through 25. So I'm going to try to sell them in sets. Uh, and I'm not somebody who sells. It's like, it's like, it's not me. <laughs> but enough of the rambling. So those are my goals. Yeah. Get, get my Batman stuff under 80 issues needed for my set. I guess for Daredevil, I'm going to try to get under, I only need like 87 issues now. So hopefully I'm under like, by the time this video comes out, I'm under 30. And start on a little bit of Amazing Spider-Man. And, um, Start with my impulse buys, uh, just because it looks good doesn't mean, you know, I should you know, buy it right away, especially new stuff, paying retail for it, uh, and call down my pull list a little bit, uh, the last thing, um, what else is there, yeah, try older stuff, you know, like, <laughs> stuff you can get dirt cheap, you know, you know, pay 50 cents an issue and get the whole series for like two bucks, 250, you know, it's, like, I had a lot of fun with that Sabretooth uh, series. I was, you know, just loved it. You know, Larry Hammer wrote it, so, you know, he's one of my favorite writers from back in the day. So, it just made perfect sense. All right. So, that's about it. Uh, thanks for listening to me ramble on. Uh, hope everybody had a good New Year's, and hope you find what you need. Hey, talk to you later.